Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions Global, let's do an arena showcase video. I haven't done one of these in Global for a while. Uh, maybe the last one was the uh, Kiton Drain Force Orlando Hunting Team. I'm kind of doing the same thing here again. I said in my last video that uh, Kirufe was such a good investment because uh, there will be so many Orlandus running around for so long uh, that a hard counter to that will be useful for a very long time. And that's the thinking behind my uh, Kiton as well. Uh, but recently in Global I've had a few uh, pieces kind of fall into place. I got level 99 Dario and Mustadio and Mediana, so I have more options for uh, team building and stuff. And uh, this is the team that I've been experimenting with lately. Uh, Kiton, of course, she is uh, built for HP, uh, so that she can use Drain Force on Orlando. Um, also with some uh, Man Eater and uh, Lightning Slayer. Uh, but she also has some Evade. And then I bring in Mediana because she is Ice Element. Uh, Kiton is weak against Wind characters, uh, so to do extra damage on them, I bring in an Ice unit. Uh, Mediana is my one Ice unit that I have at 99. Uh, someday when I get Victora to 89 or 99, maybe I'll sub her in there. And then finally I'm bringing uh, Dario. Uh, he's just my tank, he is there to use uh, attract spells so that he can draw attacks to himself and away from uh, Mediana. And then I'll put up his uh, build, but he is super tanky. I was kind of shocked uh, using him in these series of fights. Uh, but against physical and magic, he was really great. I made a bet on him, and I was going to use him instead of uh, UR tanks. And I think that bet is paying off. He's really, really good. <laughs> Alright, so no problem that first fight. Um, I fought uh, Federica in there. Where Kiton also has the element advantage. So we one-punched her, and then uh, we took care of Orlando, while Orlando was not really able to do damage to Kiton. Uh, while my other two characters uh, could uh, tie up the last opponent. But as long as Orlando is in the first slot on the opposing team, uh, chances are very good, maybe 80% or higher, uh, that uh, Kiton will engage him. And then here this is an interesting team. There's a Tsubayaki and Agris. Uh, Tsubayaki has high resistances but low HP. Uh, so she's an easy target for a Drain Force, which ignores all attack resistances. And then here, interestingly, she goes away from Orlando, moves towards Agrius. <laughs> uh, Agrius is beefy, so this is kind of a very uh, tanky team overall. Uh, but Kiton is just taking on everybody. Uh, she keeps healing herself, of course, with a Drain Force, so uh, she can uh, sustain pretty well. And then finally, when my Mediana catches up, she can uh, take down Augris. And then for Dario, uh, you know, with my JP account, I like to build up resistances uh, with like Whisper or Thancred or somebody. Uh, but with Dario, he has nice defense and spirit, so I'm building off of those instead. And then when it comes to uh, building tanks, either for resistances or defense spirit, uh, you want to build off of um, whatever is higher, or whatever you can get higher. And where my global account is now, uh, I can get defense and spirit higher, so uh, that's why I'm giving him stuff like uh, Leona's Castle Vision Card, uh, Golem Esper, Mons Trustmaster, so... Yeah, he's very, very beefy. Okay, here we're going against Ramza. Ramza is still one of the characters I like to go against least. Uh, but hopefully the magic tankiness of Dario will be able to stand up to him. Ramza is still my greatest regret in this game, to not get him. <laughs> When he came out in JP, the game was like two months old, so I didn't really have a good uh, handle on the game. I didn't appreciate stuff like magic attack or three hit attacks and stuff, but yeah, if you have Ramza, uh, you're one of the lucky ones, I think. Okay, but Kiton keeps uh, plugging away against Orlando. Dario and Mediana are tying up Ramza. And 
and Dario has the hate, apparently, to keep away the attacks from Mediana, so that's working out. Okay, full life on Orlando, but fails, thank god. <laughs> and then my other two characters, they can uh, catch up as uh, Kiton tries to take down Ayaka. Oh, and then as for skills, on off. Uh, on Kiton... I don't think I turned anything off, actually. Uh, for Mediana, I took away her uh, area of effect magic attack, so Blizzaga. And then she only has Blizzard, because I don't want to shoot a blank. Uh, maybe aim for a panel, and then the uh, opponent moves out. I also gave her the ninja sub-job, because maybe I wanted her to use like the poison cloud or hide or something, but she never uses any of them. <laughs> uh, but the magic that she has on her main job for black mage is good enough, so I just left it. And then Dario, I turned off all of his blade skills, um, except for silence blade and bio blade, uh, because I wanted the, um, the status effects. Uh, but I have my Dario built for a minimum faith, uh, so that he takes the uh, least amount of damage from magic attacks. I am probably going to use him purely as a tank. I'm not going to worry about his damage at all. And then I'll make a, a review video of uh, Dario soon. Alright, so here I was kind of hoping to get a good look at uh, Irudita. I've never really been impressed fighting against her. Uh, but everybody in JP loves her, and everybody in Global loves her, so I guess I'm uh, missing something. <laughs> uh, but right there, that was really interesting. We faced an opponent, Mediana, and I was worried that Dario was going to be weak against Mediana because of the element uh, disadvantage. Uh, but as we saw from the opponent's Limit Break, did almost no damage to Dario. Uh, that probably comes from his spirit and his uh, magic resistance, but... Yeah, if Dario can successfully tank Mediana, he kind of has no weaknesses, actually, so that's that's amazing. And then uh, soon, when the Fenrir uh, Esper and Vision card come out, uh, which I definitely want to pull, uh, then Dario is going to be invincible against uh, magic attackers, so very much looking forward to uh, making that build. <laughs> Okay, very tanky team that we're going against here. Uh, Orlando, Warrior of Light, and Kirufe. And there's a surprisingly strong attack from Warrior of Light. I don't really consider him an attacker, but... Yeah, there goes my Mediana. Suddenly I'm not feeling very good about this fight. And then a Kiton is going after Warrior of Light, so yeah, feeling even less good. <laughs> Okay, and then Holy from Kirufe, since her Earth attacks will not do uh, great damage against Dario, but Holy also does almost no damage, so that's great. And Kiton looks in a bit of a pinch, and then she uses Hazard Spin instead of Drain Force, so I'm very worried here. Uh, but able to take down uh, Orlando here. And then thankfully her agility was high enough that she was able to act before Warrior of Light, and so get in a Drain Force, uh, get some HP back. And Dario's doing a great job of tying up Kirufe. And amazingly, take down Warrior of Light as well. Uh, one thing that Engelbert has on Warrior of Light is the, uh, the Courage skill. So now it's just Kiton versus Kirufe, basically. Uh, but since uh, Drain Force can go through all resistances again, uh, we can still get pretty good damage on uh, Kirufe there. That was a surprising win. I'm glad I got that one. <laughs> okay, last fight. Orlando, Lucia, and Ramza. A little bit worried about this one because Lucia is very strong against uh, Kiton. Especially if she has the Hunter subjob with the 100% uh, hit attack. Uh, but hopefully I can uh, get the, um, the hate onto Dario and then draw the attacks away. Yeah, there's the attack, but thankfully, uh, Hiton was able to survive. All right.
right, and then she can get it back. Drain Force on Orlando. And Reflex. And then uh, Mediana, she's kind of uh, evading herself. I uh, gave her the Sage's hat. Alright, there's Keton spreading the damage around, which I don't love, but... Again, as long as Orlando's just attacking Keton, he's not really a um, an issue. And then, of course, I'm using uh, Jesus Bells on Kiton, just so that she always has access to Drain Force. And that's really working for her. I suppose with Mediana, I could have given her uh, Kiton's Trustmaster in order to give her Hide, and then maybe get away without using a tank. Uh, but I decided, I mean, I wanted to test out Dario, so that's why I'm using him here. And then I can give uh, Salia's Trustmaster for Maneater on her magic. Uh, in order to get more damage there. Okay, and all characters still standing here, so that was a successful fight. And all wins here. <laughs> I thought about it, and I'd really just show off the wins. I want to show my uh, team composition and my units uh, succeeding, uh, rather than losing. Okay, so that was an Arena Showcase in Global. Uh, once this map changes, I want to show off a uh, two gunners and tank team. Uh, since this map gives you projectile resistance up, uh, it's not the best place to show that off. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.